It was a quiet street, but something else was lurking beneath the soil. We just found something, and I'm frightened by it. What started out as a simple landscape project, I've never seen anything like that in all my years, became something quite different. <laughs> but then it looked nice in the end. It looks amazing, man. Things are always busy at Dirty Business, especially today because I'm starting a new project. Can you tell me what type of a house is it? So, well, Nadia and Chelsea have killed it. We're shooting here. No, thank you. Okay, maybe I better not explain this in the office. This is Nadia's house. As you look at our house, you can see that. From the sidewalk, it's hard to figure out how to get to our house because you either have to go around the driveway or you have to go on the pathway that is actually next to our neighbor's driveway, which makes it look like it's the neighbor's. And so we sort of found it really difficult saying, how can we define that space? I'd like to separate the car parking area from the pedestrian walkway. Right now it's all one big blob and absolutely no curb appeal to it. It's such a big brick house to begin with, we need to just soften it up with um, some more like greenery, really. There's absolutely nothing green except a dead lawn. Well, it's not even green, it's brown. There's weeds growing up there. They are embarrassed, I'm pretty sure. So we want to clean this place right up. And to do that, I need Lauren's help to come up with a killer design. Well, we're trying to create a little bit of a formal feel, and we're just trying to give them a direct route out to the street and give them a walkway that is specifically for a person to walk on, rather than have to walk on the driveway. Right now, the driveway curves in, and it's really quite awkward. And yeah. There's this big stump. Yeah, that was one of the biggest issues there, was this huge Maywood died, so we've got this great big hump. If we can take out the stump, then we can level the hump and widen the driveway so there's a direct route into the garage. And also the bottom step here, there's some existing concrete steps. Yeah. It drops off quite a bit there, like right. 18 inches or something. Yeah. So I was proposing to give them a nice intermediate landing. Yeah. Steps down on either side, and then gentle steps coming down the center, so the doorway has a central sort of alley. Mm -hmm. and then differentiate between them and the neighbor yeah. okay. with some taller trees. Right away, I love this design. I think it's really elegant for the house. One of the main things was that house is so tall that they want to you know, get it down to scale, so I right. love the use of those trees anchoring the front, so that's going to really create some weight. And bringing up this landing a little bit yeah. gives them the option also, because they still have to go around their backyard, so mm -hmm. be a nice central area here to decide, oh, do I go to the car? Do I go to the backyard? That's right. Another thing that's really kind of freaks me out at this house is actually... Freaks me out? It does, it really freaks me out. Bothers you immensely? Mentally, immensely bothers me, is the fact that this neighbor, it looks like right now that they have a great big driveway. But how do you say politely to someone that you're about to take back your I think life? you just say, hey, Bob and Mary, yeah. here's the property line. Do you mind if we plant it up here? So the trees we're proposing, it's the Chanticleer big, ornamental big, pear. Big, big, one, you know what? I'm getting freaked out again because you know what? We spec a tree, it better be available because it's one of the biggest problems is sometimes we spec a tree and we sell a tree and we want that tree, then we can't get that tree. So that's why it better be available. <laughs> Which one is that? Why Chanticleer pear, you say? This summer we went to France and I was really inspired by Villandry and I actually have a picture of us in front of the pear tree that we found in the middle of France. Great, no pressure here. But in the meantime, I've got to get Nadia to approve this design. Okay. We're just going to go over the gardens, ladies. Over the front garden. garden? Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool, right? Who's been cutting the lawn? Have you been doing the weeding? Yeah. No? no. <laughs> Has mom been? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. That's the way we usually, that's the way it always goes. I know, so it'll be yeah. great before picture. Concrete porch is going to look like now. a beautiful stone pad when we're done. Just We're going to veneer all of the and chisel uh, beautifully and face all the stone that's going to come down the staircase. And so it's going to elevate yeah. about two inches, right? That's right. So you'll, each, each of these will now be, you'll have a nice step riser about this thick. 
Okay. And it'll be a little bit of an overhang to give you a little bit of a detail in the shadow line. The okay. The faces will be chiseled on that. And then the veneering of, of the faces of the porch also will be done in stone, so. Okay. Cool. As for the asphalt, we're gonna be taking that with stone saw right out along the property line. And as you can see in the drawing right here, that's where these trees are gonna be going now. So this property will look like yours again. I'm not trying to create a great big garden here with a, a, a big collection of things. Just want a nice statement, very simple. 30 feet. <laughs> Got it, exactly. <laughs> we have so. to, and we also want to keep in line with the with the street yeah. and everything oh, yeah. and not be too sort of Hopefully the whole street crazy. landscapes after this one. <laughs> there you go. Good news. Nadia's on side with the design. What do you guys think? Good. But there's one more thing I need before we can get started. Oh, really good. Hey, uh, sorry, I want to ask you: Is that stone saw available yet? Why? Uh, getting some pressure, or I need just, it, or you know what? It's just been a while. They've been waiting, and I just want to get that job started. No problem. I'll talk to Ron. I think they're yeah. probably a little delayed on their site, so yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we're all good. Time to bring in Ron. Hi, nice to meet you. My general contractor. Sweet. The job will go quick if we have access, access to the driveway. Everything. There's no cars involved. Yeah. We just can store everything here and just yeah, keep it moving. Yeah, it's no problem because we can okay. park on the street, so. That is right. really easy going. <laughs> excellent, excellent. It's no a worries. little different here. And she's friends of mine, so we gotta behave. <laughs> this driveway on this neighbor's property uh, well, that's just that it. it looks like the neighbors. So we're property. more or less off this. Yeah, pretty point. much off that is is their property. So what we're doing is we're gaining it back. They actually sold this house. So Natty really wanted to get us in here quick and, and reclaim the space before the new builder gets here. And uh, they figure that's their driveway and it's, it's sort of a, all this red tape will uh, ensue. So, so they're going to have a very, very narrow, narrow driveway. driveway. Yeah, yeah. 